Hello everyone! How are we all today? Uh, just a quick little tutorial, just because I uh, wanted to get out a few little videos, just so... Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, who cares? Uh, a quick tutorial on how to make a near-infinite EU generator. It's very easy, uh, you know, it just requires a coolant exchange and logistics and, of course, you know, your industrial craft stuff. And uh, yeah, it just requires these items you can see here. Now, I didn't get out the condenser because I was silly. But I'm just going to teach you how to make all this stuff, uh, well, well, how to make this particular type of thing. So all you have to do is have your condenser, which is made with your obsidian and uh, our chemical chest and then all this stuff. Uh, you should know how to make them by now. If not, you'll be able to find out. So just remember, energy condenser, and you'll also need a lava cell. Now, a lava cell is made by having an empty cell, and you can right-click on a bit of lava or combine it with a lava bucket. Not a problem either way, it gets you a lava cell which has an EMC value of 128, this is important. Uh, what you do is you put him in the top slot, and uh, yeah, that is the beginnings of it. Now if you have a ton of dark matter like I do in my single player, uh, what you can do with it in order to create a whole bunch of energy really easily is just pop a whole bunch of dark matter in the bottom right corner, Voila! <laughs> stacks and stacks of lava cells, not a problem. You can see that I've got a nice lovely setup over here, we've got our nice lovely provider pipe, so we may as well pop this guy down. Uh, as far as I know, you only need one of them, so don't really worry too much about uh, having a whole ton of them. And then you'll just pop down a whole bunch of supplier pipes. Uh, I may as well show the uh, particular provider pipe recipe. Uh, basic logistics pipes with glowstone on top, and this is the logistics pipes. Uh, very easy. What this uh, guy does over here is provide the whole entire inventory in here to whatever else is connected to this network. So that'll be pretty important in a minute. And uh, don't worry too much about that. Now what we do is we grab out just one stack of these and in each of them we're going to pop them in the middle with our wrench. So we use our wrench to open up the, invent or the uh, interface of these guys and raisins. Okay. So, once you've uh, done all of that, just hang on a second, I'm just going to do the rest of them. Uh, keep in mind that you don't necessarily need this many, you could just have one, uh, and that would still work fine. The only reason why we're doing nine is because it will help us get a lot more uh, EU very quickly. Cool, so now that that's all sorted, you'll also need a geothermal generator. So, this is what it is, it's made out of a generator, empty cells, refined iron, you should know how to make these by now, but uh, yeah, there you go. Generator, refined iron, battery, or machine block, etc, etc. You get the idea. Now what these guys do is take lava and turn it into power. So they take the uh, the energy from lava, like, uh, well, yeah, <laughs> sorry, it just turns lava into energy. Pretty simple to understand. Uh, might just end up breaking that to face this way. Two and three. Now, as you can see down here, we've got a whole bunch of our lava cells dropping out and going into these guys. Now, you can see that they're not really doing anything yet. They're kind of just waiting out because uh, they haven't got, like, their power can't go anywhere. So they just kind of load themselves up and then kind of switch off. Now, that's fine. That's all we really need from them for now. But after that, you can see that I've got this on top, a nice, lovely glass fiber cable. And that, of course, is made of glass, redstone, and a diamond. So kind of expensive, seeing as you only get four glass fiber cables from it. But, you know, if you're making this setup, you're kind of not really worrying about uh, wasting diamonds by this point. Especially if you just chuck a whole stack of dark matter in there. So there you go. You just put them all on top. And then, depending on where you want uh, your MFSU, which is where all your power is going to go to, uh, you can probably just place that right in the middle like so. And you can see that he's filling up very quickly, thousands of uh, EU is already going in here. Of course, you know, it, bleh, it goes, like, there's an output of about 512 EU per tick, so it may or may not be faster depending on, like, how many you use. But if you needed more, all you'd have to do is just set up a whole bunch over here and just connect it to the same thing. So that wouldn't be too much of a trouble. Like, look, look how easy that is. You could just have tons and tons of these, it would all connect up to here, all of them are coming straight out of this, oops, and just one thing to remember, uh, you're going to have to click on this guy, and switch the mode to leave first stack, that will make it so that it leaves this guy here, and uh, you won't have to worry too much about it. 
So it will no longer steal that first stack, you won't have to worry about it. And you can see that all of that dark matter is slowly disappearing. Each time there is a single space for a lava cell to be created, uh, it will take out EMC from anything else. So you can see that we've got a whole big backlog of EMC in here. Each cell is only worth 128, so you could probably be spending this for ages and ages. Sorry, that was my mail program. I thought it I nah, I thought I turned off sounds for everything else. Oh well. Uh, either way, uh, so all of that EMC, tons of it. <laughs> You're not gonna have to replace that for a long while, I promise you. And uh, yeah, that is pretty much how you make the uh, almost infinite EMC generator or e nah, almost infinite EU per tick generator. So, there you go. We can come back over to here to the one that I made earlier. You can see that he's still filling up nice and proudly. Tons of EU, easily makeable. Like what, that took 5-10 minutes? Not even that? Exactly. Fantastic, right? And of course these guys are still, you know, trying to fill up. Of course, you know, they're gonna try and go for 64, I think. But they're just trying to fill up the first ones before they can uh, go on to the other ones around here. Either way, so thank you guys so much for watching, I hope that you have enjoyed this. This has been a nice lovely design told to me by Vendictissimo. Ventodissimo. Yeah, sorry. It's spelled- oh, damn it, I can't even type in chat. <laughs> Ventodissimo. Dictissimo. I'm sorry, I have butchered your name. Uh, anyway, it's been an amazing design by him, so thank you very much for sending that in. And uh, yeah, I hope that you guys are having an amazing day, and I will catch you guys next time.